Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode we're going to be discussing 10 awesome survival gadgets for under $10. Stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be discussing 10 cool survival gadgets for under $10. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new episodes or our daily giveaways. And make sure you smash that notification button so you don't miss anything. Also, we have a new round of our Amazon gift card giveaways and to enter, you must be a subscriber and share this video using the YouTube tools in the watch page below. We also pick winners in the very next episode, so if you enter on this particular giveaway, you'll find out who the winner is on the very next episode. For those of you who follow us on social media regularly, you have seen some of these items, but some of them, they're actually gonna be brand new to the channel and we've had them for a couple weeks and we really, really, really like them. Right here we have the mini fire boss kit, which is absolutely fantastic. They keep a lot of the very core essentials for a lot of the fire starting stuff you need, but really decrease the bulk in a substantial way. Now, if you have the extra funds, and I'm probably gonna repeat this several times throughout this video, I would definitely recommend getting the full size boss kits as, as you can see, the full size boss kits are packed full of goodies. Additionally, they have abilities to actually process and procure various types of tinder and wood on your own, so you're not just left with fire starting methods, you're also given an opportunity to have fire collection methods. Next up is the mini fishing boss kit, and this thing's actually chock full of goodies. This is like a 40 piece bug out supplement kit, which is freaking awesome, but like you can see, it fits down in the palm of your hand. But like I said, the full size boss kits are an absolute pleasure for like 19 bucks, but it's a 127 piece kit and it's far more substantial for a variety of different freshwater fishing. For like 10 bucks, you'll be able to pick up like all three of their most popular mini boss packages, but I love them because they're still complete given the fact that they're so, so, so small. Last but not least is the Signal mini boss kit, and this one's actually pretty good. Like I said, it's not as substantial as the full size Signal boss kit because this one is designed for a variety of applications, whether you're on land, you're camping, you're doing long, distance hiking, but this also has applications for smoke grenades so you can signal from far away and get a lot of people's attention. Additionally, if you're on a boat and you need to really highlight the area you're in in a waterborne emergency on a boat or a kayak or something, you can use the marking die to really light up a big area so they can see that you're in danger. Next up, we have the On The Fly Kit by Survival Medical. Now, there's not a lot of first aid or survival kits that I would highly recommend for 10 bucks or less. But this one is designed for basically rugged hard use in a backpack of me traveling a long distance. And it's also designed for long-term storage, which doesn't exist anywhere else outside of Survival Medical with their specialized packaging and how they actually protect their gear. But this is a really nice, thinly profiled, first aid kit that's got a lot of everything in it that you need for the ouchie boo-boos and some basic first aid care. And be sure to stay till the end of the video where we're actually gonna be showcasing five bonus items that are for under $10 as well. Next up is water filtration. Now this doesn't have the most capacity. It may not absolutely be the industry standard best, but it does hang in there with the live straw. Now this only gives you 30 gallons, but for short term hikes and day camping and any type of short-term get home emergency, 30 gallons will see you through for up to a month, which is absolutely outstanding for the $10 price point. Now, if you own the Fire Boss Kit or the Mini Fire Boss Kit, you'll definitely love these. These are the Fire Assist Capsules by Epic Supplies. Now, these things are awesome, and when I first saw them, I thought they were gimmicky, but you basically take the tablet, you pull out the magnesium, you set your tender pile right there, and once you strike that spark, even if you hit really wet tender, this magnesium burns at 3,000 degrees for about 30 to 45 seconds, and that will really do a really hefty job of getting into the core of the wood fibers and really drying out your tender so you can actually start a fire in less than ideal conditions. Now this item's actually been around a while, but I, it's kind of newer to me. We've only had it for about a month or so, but this is the Tube Travel Toothbrush. And how this differs to me is it's completely watertight, so you don't have to worry about getting any extra gunk or filth, whether it's in your pack or in a dop kit of any kind, whether you're doing any type of business traveling, camping, anything like that. But you have your normal toothbrush that you can use, a soft bristle, but it has a pressurized cap to seal in there really nice. But the added benefit of this is you actually fill this with your own toothpaste and it seals really nice and tight right in there and everything is encapsulated in a really small package. This has got to be my most highly recommended budget 
knife. This is the Mora 511, and this has actually even gotten cheaper than the Mora Companion knives. But I really like this knife because when you need it to do a lot of solid work, but you don't got a lot of money, and you want to throw away a knife that you can depend on realistically, the Mora 511 definitely has your back. Now we all know Cordage is absolutely fantastic, and this we actually made a full video on this, stating that we felt this was the best fire starter on the planet, given the fact that this is a representation of the 30 foot Hank that we're referencing that's basically $4, four to five bucks, whether you go online or on Walmart, but it gives you a buttload of freaking fire tinder that is absolutely waterproof, that will light in really crappy conditions, that has a gasification system to actually create a higher temperature variance when you actually light this stuff on fire, but it also makes it very highly wind resistant and less favorable conditions the core you actually have all of this now when we did our field testing for the normal video that we did we actually found that we could actually boil water and cook a meal just with this tender if you find yourself in a situation of nothing else Next up are Kim Lights. This 10 pack of Kim Lights is literally about $10 on Amazon, and we love this. The 10 pack, it gives you an opportunity to stick this in a variety of different packs, ammo survival kits, and it gives you a lot of opportunity for not a lot of money. These things last for about 10 hours. This is what they look like outside the bag, but it's freaking amazing the fact that you can just snap, break, shake, and you have an extremely bright, visible nightlight that can be visible for emergency signaling from 75 to 100 yards away, even with ambient light surrounding it and kind of trying to mute it and drown it out. But the cool thing is with the full size signal boss kits, you get two of these in the pack. I know you guys saw this in a very recent video. These are Sprongs by Merkwares or Emberlit Stoves. Um, Mikhail was a really good buddy of mine and we've been testing these out for months, whether it's been in the kitchen or camp cooking. These things are amazing because you get a normal fork and a spoon that you saw packs it very, very nicely. But when you're doing any pan frying or pan cooking of any kind, this gives you tongs to give you a complete system. Because typically you would have a knife with you already. So you give a complete system with minimal weight. And the fact that they're longer helps you dive into things like MRE packets and mountain house meals. So you don't have to worry about getting food and all that crap all over your hands while you're actually eating. Now, as promised, these are five bonus items for under $10. Now, this first one is the Bronton 9077 Linsatic Compass. Now, this is not going to be as good as the Kaminga Military Compass, obviously, because that's the difference between like $75 to $100 bucks compared to $10. However, if you want a reliable compass that will work, it'd be pretty dang rugged, and you only have a little bit of money, I would definitely recommend the Bron Bronton, because Bronton does make really nice Linsatic Compasses. Next up is the Cree Q5. Now, I I wouldn't recommend this for hard use as it's a single AA battery flashlight and it's not going to have the waterproof rating as some other ones, but it's pretty dang good that it's got a pretty good bright setting, it's got a low setting, and then also has an emergency strobe function if you catch yourself in an emergency, but the fact that you can find these between $5.99 to $7.99 in most places online, this is not a very bad flashlight for those who want something to stick in their glove box at all. We have the Bushcraft 101 by Dave Canterbury, and uh, though I may disagree with some of Dave Canterbury's ideologies in his videos, he did write a really, really good book. This is an awesome read. We flipped through it a few times and given our kids some awesome reading material as well, and it does teach you some really nice wilderness survival skills, tips, and tricks that are just invaluable in my opinion. Now, this little bugger we've had for a very, very long time. This is the Smith's Pocket Pal X2, and the reason why we like this is it has a compass, has a ferrocerium rod built inside that if you need this for scraping. You have a ceramic and a tungsten carbide teeth for sharpening, but you can also have the diamond rod for serrations. Additionally, this also has a whistle and a flashlight to actually signal for help if you need to. It's not super bright, but it does function. Now, this little bugger does range in price pretty fantastically, because sometimes you can find it online for about nine, 10 bucks, and sometimes it does jump all the way up into the realm of 11 to $13 but most often you can find this for 10 bucks or less. Last but not least, we have this little piece of bug spray. This is the Repel Max, and it's 40% DEET. We like this because you can find this at REI, Bass Pro Shops, Amazon, Walmart, pretty much anywhere for about four to five bucks. And this gives you a really nice pocket-friendly pin style, sharpie size piece of bug spray. So you don't have to look around those giant cans that just rattle around and are really, really annoying. In conclusion, these are our top awesome survival gadgets for under 10 bucks. Like I said, we're kind of scraping the bottom the barrel as there's not a whole lot at that price point that I personally would recommend wholeheartedly for people to pick up but these are some standout items that I really feel deserve to make this very budget-friendly list the winner of yesterday's Amazon gift card giveaway is Jeremy Mercado 
Congratulations, Jeremy Bricotta. You were the winner. So definitely contact us in the back end of our channel so we can get your contact details. But that's just about it for now. But if you enjoy the talking points and our recommendations for our awesome survival gadgets for under 10 bucks, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that's just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out. <laughs>